everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm making chicken fried rice in an instant pot so if you guys want to know how to make this hit that subscribe button and watch me cook now I'm going to make this just the way I normally make it in a frying pan except from the instant pot so we're gonna start off with our rice go ahead and wash your rice in a separate bowl you're gonna wash this until your water is clear so give this a few rinse um, what you're going to do is just wash it and watch how I'm doing this. I am just dumping the water out. I'm going to keep rinsing it and I'm going to wash it like this again and just dump the water out again and you'll see that the water is not clear. It's still cloudy and you, what you want to do is try to get the water as clear as possible. Try not to lose as many grains of rice as I have so far. I'm just not used to using this container so I'm doing the best that I can here. Oh and just so you guys know I am using a short grain rice just the big bag of rice that I get from the Asian market so I'm just using that kind of rice for this recipe now for me this is as good as it's gonna get it's uh, clear enough where it's not super cloudy once I started rinsing the rice out so what I'm gonna do is just use this rice and put it right inside the instant pot get all of your rice in there and then add equal parts of water so two cups of rice to two cups of water and then I'm just going to just kind of even it all out make sure everything's you know kind of flat in there so the water is covering over the rice and then I'm just gonna cook this make sure you have it on sealed in the back and then pressure cook this on high pressure for four minutes while that's going I'm just gonna go ahead and start prepping all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using with my fried rice so for my onions I'm gonna cut them into small well dice them I guess into smaller chunks And to move things right along, I am using a rotisserie chicken breast. Um, this is about probably a half a pound to a pound's worth. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm pulling the skin off because one of those flavored kinds, and I don't want that in there. And I'm just going to dice these up into bite-sized pieces as well. It's been about four minutes and so I went ahead and pressed my top lever thing over to vent so the water can re release all the steam that it needs to and while that's going I'm going to grab four eggs and I'm just going to beat them inside this bowl. As you can see, it took nine minutes for all the steam to release. And I'm gonna tell you right now, what you're gonna do obviously is just put all the rice into a separate bowl. And I would not recommend this at all. The rice gets stuck inside of your Instant Pot. Look at this, this is just horrible. If you have a rice maker, definitely do it in that. I would not recommend the Instant Pot for uh, fried rice. Is it doable? Yes, but I mean, it's not fun to clean. It took a, a lot of arm strength to sit here and scrub this rice out of there so that I can have a clean pot to actually fry the rice in it. And I'm showing you guys this because I wanted you to see exactly what it is that you're going to have to go through if you choose to make fried rice in this. Well, not the fried rice part, just the uh, just making rice in it. So if you can make rice in a separate pot, again, I highly recommend doing that. Everything else you can do in this, but if you're going to do all of that, you might as well just do it in a pan. So there's my two cents on this recipe. Is it doable? Yes. Is it better in a frying pan? Definitely. Okay, but since I've already started this, I'm going to go ahead and finish it in here. I did add my butter, and I'm going to add uh, my onions in there, obviously. And I'm going to just stir that around until my onions become a little bit translucent. I'm also throwing in here 10 ounces of frozen peas and carrots. This is basically me eyeballing that part because I bought a 16 ounce bag so I just did a little bit more than half. So cook this through until they're not frozen anymore basically and so you're just going to continue cooking this with your butter and your onions. Once you see that your vegetables are getting softer, your onions and your, uh, I'm sorry not your onions, your, your carrots and your peas, go ahead and add your chicken in there just to heat it through. Now 
Now that that's done, push everything over to the side and let's add your eggs right into this. Give it a minute and then you'll see that it'll start cooking a little bit. That's when you're going to go ahead and just mix all of that together. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, I know it probably looks worse, but it's not that bad actually cooking the eggs inside of there. And if you notice, the camera moved really fast. I just went ahead and turned everything off so I can continue cooking this without having any more heat inside of the pot. So once everything is inside of your pot, go ahead and add your soy sauce and a tablespoon of butter. Um, with your soy sauce, if you're going to use a low sodium kind, you're going to want to give it a taste before you serve it because there's not going to be a lot of flavor in there. If you use regular soy sauce, go ahead and add two tablespoons. If you need more, adjust as needed. All we have to do now is just plate this and look at this. I just chopped some green, uh, yeah, green onions on there and sprinkled some sesame seeds on top. I hope you guys like this recipe. If you guys like this, hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching. Watch me cook.